Hey guys, this is Swordfish, and today I'm playing Down the Drain, another game by Cubicorn Games, my new Indicate East friends showing off their stuff, because um, this is a fun one. It's super cool. So start gives you an introduction, so I'm going to click start and then read it. This is the town of Melvinark, and this is it one week ago. Everything started subtly. But it didn't take long for the problem to escalate. Plumbers worked around the clock on the town-wide problem. But no matter what they tried, everything they tried resulted in more water. From there, things got out of hand quickly. After the evacuation, Meller gullied searched for wire, far and wide for help. One day, he got a card that would change everything. It was time to call an expert. Marta, the world's smallest plumber snake. She swam to the nearest sink and prepared to go down the drain. Press A to continue. Oh, that's me. Okay. Marta, the world's smallest plumber snake. Boo, boo. So this is down the drain. Marta, the plumber snake, making her way through the drain, shooting bubbles, and trying to clean up gunk, gunk and debris. Sometimes that gunk attacks you back, which we'll find, and sometimes it does. There we go. There's some fighting gunk. There's some fighting gunk. Um, this game is sort of... Whoa, charging gunk. You also have a shield. <laughs> um, these guys shoot projectiles, which you can... Woo! dodge, or try to dodge. I just failed to dodge, but that's fine. I love the... Whoa, hi! Marta's movement is super fun. Like, the way she, like, swirls around, I really, like, it's very smooth and feels very, like, dancey almost. Like, I'm tempted to shoot like that just for fun. Uh, there's a map, obviously. And, um, the levels are randomly generated, so, or pseudo-randomly generated. They're built out of tiles, like level tiles, kind of like Rogue Legacy. So you see the square moving around, that's kind of the current tile. And as you explore, the next section of the level is generated, so. It's random every time. It's not quite like a, I guess it could be like a roguelike, roguelite, sort of. When you die, you start over at the beginning. It's the same level, but... Whoa, what are you? I'm gonna think you're, like, broccoli. And this is, like, like, rice. Or, like, toast crumbs. Or something. I don't know what the food shooting at me is. That's kind of gross. Food that spits. Not my favorite thing. So, the things that I'm picking up, I don't know if you noticed... Are, I believe... Oh, there's a loop. Okay. Alright, I'm going... Continuing the only way I can. I believe... Are, like, ammo for projectile upgrades that you can get. So, at the end of each level... Well, actually, I'm saying that like I know. I haven't played this very much. Only enough to make sure I could record it. And then I understood how it worked. Um, but, um... From what I understand, they're, like, projectile upgrades for your, um, for power-ups that you will get at some point after a boss fight. So, if we get to the end of this level, there may... Oh, hi, guys. There may be a boss fight, at which point we may get an upgrade. Who knows? Whoa. Whoa. All right. The, um... You can shield and attack at the same time, but I have kind of a hard time pushing those two buttons quickly. I'm playing with an Xbox controller. Shield is X, and shoot is A, so you kind of have to rock your thumb back and forth, which is a little tricky. All right. 100% cleared! Four to four objects collected. Time 347. And here we are. 
The drippy drippers. Alright, Marta, let's do it. It's a boss! It's a giant carrot! <laughs> the boss is a giant carrot. With peas. It's a giant carrot surrounded by army peas. Come on. Come on, Marta. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, 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 don't hurt me. Come on, come on. Whoa. Come on, get the carrot. Yeah! Got him. Got him. And what's this upgrade? I don't know. I almost died, though. My health is the... The... The six... Hexagon. In the corner. Acquired bounce bubble. 48 seconds. Nice. Now, complete the key. Now there's a um, new objective. There also are keys in the game, obviously. Um, well, firstly, let me use bounce bubble. So, the blue highlighted rooms are the ones with keys. So when you go in there, there's, you can see. Can I blow this up? No. Whoa, dude, relax. That's quite scary, actually. Those activate when you go near them, I think. Um, and that's a piece of the key. And now the key is gone, meaning I got it. This way, I assume, is the keyhole. Let me shoot a bounce bubble in there. Boop. So obviously they bounce around. And they keep hitting stuff until they pop. So that's the keyhole. I can't get through there until I get all the pieces of the key. Here's another key room with a giant monster. A giant chasey monster. I got him caught on the... On the corner, which is an acceptable strategy. And that was another piece of the key. Very nice. Let me head off this way. Oh no. So the monster, um... The monster, monster clogs. Sort of... They deactivate when you get out of range, so you can kind of like go in and out and kite them and make it a little easier on yourself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Got my key. Killed everybody. I want to just go over here. Got to see all the rooms. Whee! I just love spinning. It looks so graceful and fun. She's like, whee! That's really how I feel, though, like, moving around. It's really fluid and smooth and, like, nice. I like it. I like it. Alright, I think I've explored every- I didn't go up. I think. Oh, it's the beginning. Okay. Let's head to the key. Yeah, I like the- I really like the way she feels when she moves. Although, it's funny, the... the, the her, like, curve... <laughs> she's very curvy, she has a curve. Really makes you want to do backflips. Whoop! Alright. Oh, there's a pickup. Very nice. And another pickup. Alright, I'm just, um... This is, I have to also say... Very, it's very, like, mesmerizing. Kinda. It feels, like, soothing. And, like... Mesmerizing. I guess that's the word I would use. Mesmerizing. Because of the, like, fluid, sort of swimmy... Well, except when one of these guys charges at you. But the, like, fluid swimmy motion, it just feels like, yeah, we're just taking a ride. Taking a ride through the drain. Just helping out. Just clearing up plug. Just clearing up gunk. Just de-gunking. It feels nice. All right, end of level. 100% cleared, five of five collected. Time, 3.55. Continue. 
Your results. Total percent, 100%. Objects, 9 of 9. Total time, 8.30. Yeah! Press start to continue. Thanks for playing Down the Drain. Alpha Plus, February 2015 build. So that's Down the Drain. <laughs> um, I really like that game. It's like... It feels like a... like Kind of like a flowy... Flowy, kind of relaxing. Like, just explore the level and see what you find. And pick up some items and just shoot some gunk. But it's not, like, super stressful... Or like difficult, sort of the opposite of um, Super Cucumber that I played yesterday. Their other game that's very skill-based, like platforming. This is a very like exploration, fun kind of like yay, different vibe. I like both of them though. It's cool vibes on both ways. So as I said, there's a Kickstarter going for both of these games together. It's a double feature Kickstarter. I'll include a link to that in the video description. And um, all info about the developers, Cubicorn Games, check them out. Say hello. They're very friendly. Um, And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.